Hi everyone. Let us discuss this concept convergent sequence. So we are already familiar with the concept of convergent sequence. Okay, in first year we have already seen in R when we say a sequence is convergent. Let us recall that definition first, and after that we will discuss convergent sequence in a metric space. Okay, so let us recall the previous definition which we have already studied in first year BSc. Okay, so let me mention a sequence. A sequence x n in R is convergent and converges to x if the definition is for given epsilon greater than zero. Okay, there exists a natural number n. Okay, such that such that mod x n minus x less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to capital n. So you are familiar with this definition, okay? So see, uh, it means this is a real line. There is one point x getting. So we have a sequence x1, x2, x3, and so on. And this sequence converges. That means approaching to this point x. Okay, so using this epsilon concept, we define this thing in this way. So you are already familiar with this definition, definition of convergent sequence in R. So let us discuss definition of convergent sequence in a metric space. Okay, so see, let first we consider, let XD be a metric space. Let XN b a sequence in x d okay so we have a matrix space x d i am considering one sequence x n in cap matrix space x d a sequence x n is convergent and converges to x if now i am writing the definition of convergent sequence in a matrix space x d the definition says if for given epsilon greater than zero there exist n belongs to set of natural number such that d of xn comma x less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to capital n right you can easily compare the definition which we have already studied okay the definition of convergent sequence in r and this is definition of convergent sequence in a matrix space there is very small difference getting so for given epsilon greater than zero we write the same thing there exists n belongs to set of natural number right so here we take mod okay and here we take d which is a metric okay in a matrix space x d such that distance between x n and x less than epsilon so let me show it here suppose uh, we have this matrix space x d so this is our matrix space x d so there is one uh, some point x and we have a sequence xn so this is x1 this is point x2 right this is point x3 x4 x5 x6 x7 and so on xn so all the, the all terms of sequences sequence it's are converging to point x then we say the sequence xn converges to x see distance of xn from x is less than epsilon getting so if distance of any point from the center of ball is less than its radius that means that point lies inside a ball so therefore that is the same thing we can write in this way xn belongs to open ball with center x radius epsilon getting with a metric d and this is true for all n greater than or equal to capital n so in the diagram we can write the same thing in this way so we have some ball in a matrix space x d right with center x and radius epsilon radius epsilon so what we say here there is some natural number n okay and all terms get greater than that n so that means xn plus 1 xn xn plus 1 all these terms xn xn plus 1 all these terms lie inside a ball and the previous terms can lie outside a ball getting so this is the meaning of that that means if we say the sequence xn converges to point x that means for given epsilon there exists some natural number n such that uh, for n greater than or equal to capital n all terms will lie 
inside a ball with center x radius epsilon okay it, uh, this is the actual meaning of it or you can say the geometric meaning of it so see make a screenshot of it after that we will discuss uh, definition of divergent sequence the concept of divergent sequence we can define in very simple way when we say a sequence is divergent if it is not convergent then we say the sequence is divergent okay so you can make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye